Hello everyone, I'm back again today. Hope you're doing well out there. Uh, we're just going to take a uh, look at this video put up by Watchman on the Wall. Uh, this man's name is uh, Chad Wilson. Um, you can see his channel here. Uh, his channel has changed a lot from what I've uh, observed. Um, but whatever, that, that's the that, that's his current channel name. And, uh, you know, he, he used to be part of uh, Brian Denlinger's ministry. Well, he used to follow him, I should say. And I used to fellowship, uh, I used to fellowship with him a, a little bit back... Um, I, I forget how long... I want to say about a year or two ago, you know, ish... Um, but you know, he broke away, um, for a bunch of different reasons, but, um, we're just going to look here at this video he put out, um, God the Son found in the Kingdom's Bible by an idiot, and, um, th this video is actually, uh, addressed directly to Brian Denlinger, so Brian Denlinger, if you're watching, this is, uh, to you, <laughs> um, and, uh, we're, we're not going to watch the entire video, um, you'll see why in a moment, um, but he's trying to, he's, he, basically, he's going to try and defend the thing of God the Son, being in the Bible, as you know, as he says in the title here, and uh, all I can really say about this video is that it's just complete and utter uh, desperation at its finest. <laughs> and you'll see what I'm saying in a moment. We're just gonna let him speak, and we're just gonna you know try to follow along with him, and um, I'll interject you know, here or there. But let's go ahead and watch what he says. What's going on this morning, y'all? All right. Uh, well, I guess this this little. I don't know what you would call it. I guess this one this morning is is, is kind of aimed directly at Brian Denlinger. And this one's coming straight at you, buddy. Now, you know, you, you, you went back in your comments and everything, and you found something Robert said. Robert said that you said Jesus. You said Jesus is not the Son of God, or something, something like that. Okay. And you keep holding on to your deal that. God the Son is, is never said in the King James Bible. Well, I got something for you this morning. You're absolutely right. The King James Bible never says the phrase, God the Son. It never says that. But, it does say it. So it doesn't say it, but it does say it. Makes sense. So get out your Bible, Brian. Turn to 1 Corinthians 8. 1 Corinthians 8, verse 6. Now, Brian, I know you're kind of dumb and everything, but just, just stick with me here for a minute. I don't know what you know about the English language and everything and what commas mean. Commas mean a break. Commas mean separation. Commas mean distinction. That's what commas mean. Okay? And I know you know what they mean because you go back to other places in, in the Bible and you talk about, you know, how this comma distinguishes 2,000 years, you know, from the first coming to the second coming and all this other stuff. Okay? So I know you know what commas mean. So let's read this real quick while I'm sitting with this light. 1 Corinthians 8, 6. But to us there is but one God. Comma. The Father. Comma. Of whom are all things and we in him. Semicolon. Ooh, there's a big break. And one Lord Jesus Christ, by whom are all things, and we by him. Now, that first comma, what does that first comma mean? Why is that significant of that passage right there? Why would why would God speak that into his Bible? Why would he do that? Especially at, you know, God the Father. Why would he do that? Well, he would do that because God is not a name. God is a title. <laughs> what? Okay. So I, I just, I can't help but just laugh at that. Um, what? <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. That This is purely desperation, what you just heard. I mean, so God is not a name. It's a title. Uh, Exodus 20, verse... Uh, Seven, thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. 
So you heard it here first, folks, from the village idiot. I mean, and, and, and for anyone that's saying, oh, you're being mean. Hey, I'm just calling him for what he calls himself, all right? I mean, that's what I'm saying. This is this is complete, utter desperation here. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah. Um, you know, um. I would have just stopped the video right there. I think that it kind of speaks for itself, but we'll we'll keep going here. God is hating. The Godhead. That is the heading. God. God is the title. The names that fall under the title, the heading, God, are as follows. The Father. Lord Jesus Christ. So, God, Lord Jesus Christ. So, what you do to follow the grammatical rules, what? I'm going to another light here. So, I'm going to spin this around while well, you can't see my little book. So, that little comma right there, you read God. Name number one, the Father. And it gives you, and it, it gives you a description of God, of whom are all things and we in Him. Okay? Now you have the semicolon. That's a big break. So you go back up to the title. God, comma, Lord Jesus Christ. So what? it doesn't say God the Son. It says God, Lord Jesus Christ. What? 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 <laughs> like, what are you talking about? No, 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 no. But the semicolon is showing a... Yes, there is a break there, but the semicolon still connects it to one another. Because why? It's talking about the same being. The one person, you know, uh, that's why it says of, of whom are all things, and and one Lord Jesus Christ by whom are all things. It's talking about the same being, you know. That's why the that's why there's a comma, the Father, you know, comma, the Father. This so see this right here is giving a definition of what when you see God, that's what it means. It's talking about the Father. That's all that's going on here. See, that's, all, that's what I'm saying. This is just pure des desperation. That's all that can be called here. <laughs> Let's keep going. So, Brian, if you want proof, grammatical proof, that you're a moron, there's your proof. That is 100% proof that God, Lord Jesus Christ, God, the Son, is in the Bible. <laughs> so just, it just stop, stop, stop. Earlier he just got done saying that God the Son is not in the Bible. And he just admitted it a minute ago. Yeah, see, it's not there. But, you know, God, Lord Jesus Christ, which again, the verse doesn't say. I mean, you, some, I mean, I mean, God, and he, some, that's what I'm saying. He's, he starts here, he cuts all this out and then says, God, Lord Jesus Christ. It, it, just, it, doesn't, it doesn't even make any sense. Like, he just, be, and he's calling Brian a moron. Uh, Chad, I, I really suggest you look at yourself, man. Um, I mean, it's just, I'm seeing, by, people, the Bible says that God is not the author of confusion. That's 1 Corinthians 14, 33. You want to talk about confusion? God. Yeah, and, and that's, and it's like, isn't God the Son, the, the, the Son is not even mentioned in the verse. So how can you say, so again, how can you say God the Son is in the Bible, but it's not in the Bible? But uh, but here, here it is, it's 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 in, it's 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 in the Bible. When the son, the word son is not even mentioned. Son does not appear because God is a title, not a name. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, I'm going to stop it right there. I think you get the point, though. I mean, I'll, I'll go back to the scripture one more time just so you can see it. Remember. And when God's, God's a title, not a name. You know, thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. Yeah. So, uh, folks, what we're witnessing here is complete desperation to defend um, something that's not even there, which he admits to, but then, oh, but it, it's there. Um, again, I, I'm trying to be nice as I can, but it's just, I mean, all I can really do is just, it really, truly just laugh at this stuff. I mean... I mean, we are literally, literally, folks, we are literally witnessing a guy's brains leaking out his ears right now. I mean, folks, the only thing that's been proven here is 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 that, first of all, that you're desperate. Okay, God the Son is knowing the scripture, and by your own title, 
I'm not trying to be, you know, be mean. I'm just calling you for what you call yourself. You are, in fact, an idiot, my friend. Um, and so, <laughs> so that's really all needs to be said. I mean, you can, you can watch the video. It's just a bunch of gibberish. So, uh, yeah, Brian, if you're still here with me here, uh, this is supposed to be directed towards you, my man. And, uh, yeah, he really proved his point. So, just thought I'd show that. Um, folks, God the Son is not in the Bible. 1 Corinthians, we'll look at it one more time. 1 Corinthians 8 is describing two titles for the same being. There's one God, the Father. That's the definition of God. Whenever you see God, it's talking about the Father, of whom are all things, and we in him. And one Lord Jesus Christ, by whom are all things, just like the Father. Because guess what? It's all the same being, and we by him. Couldn't be any more or simpler. So, just thought I'd show you all that. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day, and God bless you all.